What's going on everyone? My name is Under the Radar and welcome back to the Draft League Viabilities. In last week's episodes, they didn't really do the best in views, but I did talk about two of my favorite Pokemon of all time in Jirachi and Togekiss, so if you want to go back and give those a listen, I would personally greatly appreciate it. But guys, in this week, I'm going to be covering a pair that is a very, very easy pair to build around, and any of you that are either new in draft leagues, you have not found a lot of success in draft, league, draft leagues, or you've been in tons of them and you haven't tried out this core yet, I strongly suggest this core to anybody. Because I do think that this core is pretty good, I'm also going to talk about a lot of mons that I think I would personally do really well with at the end of the next video, so make sure you guys look forward to that as well. But with that, why don't we go ahead and talk about the first mon this week. And that mon is Tapu Bulu. Now let's go ahead and talk a little bit about Tapu Bulu. Tapu Bulu is a very unique Pokemon with the Grass Fairy typing that was introduced in Gen 7 that has probably one of the best abilities in my opinion. Its ability Grassy Terrain is actually really really unique because what it does is it sets up Grassy Terrain for your team and Grassy Terrain has a bunch of really really cool effects. The first effect mainly benefits Tapu Bulu but it powers up Grass type moves and that's really really good whenever you have a monstrous attack stat. And in case you didn't know, Tapu Bulu does have a monstrous attack stat at 130 base attack. That means that it powers up insane moves like Wood Hammer, Horn Leech, and everything like that. On top of powering up grass type moves, it also weakens certain moves like Bulldoze, Magnitude, and most importantly, Earthquake. It's really important that you can power down Earthquake because in the Draft League, Earthquake is very easy to spam. If you don't have an immunity, it's base 100 power and so many mons get it that it's very easy to just be like, well, I can come in, click Earthquake, and get off a solid 30%. With Grassy Terrain, you can instantly nullify a lot of the damage that you can take from the, from the attack. I think Tapu Bulu is pretty good just because of the fact that it can be very, very good defensively or offensively. Offensively, it gets set up moves like Swords Dance, or if you really wanted to, you could even run Calm Mind and set up specially. I've seen it done a couple times in League format, and it's worked out pretty well because so many times people prep for physically offensive Tapu Bulu, slap on Calm Mind with Dazzling Gleam as Stab, and then Energy Ball, and then you can even run coverage moves that also help out the rest of your team, like Leech Seed. It also gets really cool coverage like Mega Horn, Zen Headbutt, and Super Power on the physical side, so it even makes it a really good candidate for using Z moves. One set of Tapu Bulu that you will always see spammed if you are up against it in the Draft League is just Choice Banded Tapu Bulu. Choice Banded One Hammer in Grassy Terrain is almost impossible to switch into. Even the bulkiest of bulky mons can hardly switch into it. Even something as fat as a physically defensive Registeel from a Choice Banded Wood Hammer takes 33%. And whenever you take into consideration that's a freaking Registeel, that's really, really good. But obviously, with Tapu Bulu, as I said before, you do have access to Superpower, so it's very easy to wear down walls very, very quickly, depending on how you build with it. On top of having very good physical offensive stats, it also is pretty bulky. It has base 70 HP, 115 defense, and 95 special defense. So if you invest properly, you're able to pretty much out bulk your opponent if they even want to run something like an ice beam you can tank it pretty well you can get a leech seed you can get leftovers leech seed and grassy terrain recovery and if i'm not mistaken if my math is correct that is more than toxic heal gliscor gets in a turn so it's pretty fat obviously that is dependent on what leech seed is attached to but obviously you can see where that would be really really annoying to face and then coupled with even horn leech to hit your opponent and gain some of their health back you can easily wear down a team very very easily with it so what is tapu bulu bad at well obviously it has a glaring four times weakness to poison and with poison jab sludge bomb and sludge wave being very easy coverage for any pokemon to get or even hidden power poison it's very easy to weaken. On top of that, it has some very obvious other weaknesses in fire and flying, which are very, very prominent in the draft league format as offensive typings. Not to mention ice as well. Ice is a very good physically offensive and especially offensive typing with things like Weavile, Mammoth Swine, even Sneasel, and even Shell Smashers like Cloyster running around. It's very, very hard to help this thing be a very very good check whenever it has all of these weaknesses so because it has all of these weaknesses it takes a lot to help uh, neutralize the weaknesses that it has so it takes a really good wall core around it 
And because it takes a really good wall core around it, it means that you have to over centralize your prep to a lot of things. Granted, a lot of the weaknesses that Tapu Bulu does have can easily be patched up by a very bulky water type, such as Milotic. Uh, but if you get sniped of Milotic and there are not a whole lot of other bulky water types that you want around, it could be very, very difficult to your draft, depending on how you like to play. I personally prefer bulky water types that have recovery, so something like Empoleon and Primarina. I love them, but they're not my all-time favorites. I love things like Milotic. Uh, so because of that, it's very, very important that you know what you want to take and when you want to take it. While it is very difficult to build an entire team that can really help its weaknesses, it's also very difficult to build a team that is not supported by Tapu Bulu. What I mean by that is that a lot of common cores are supported by Tapu Bulu, meaning fire types. They're now no longer really weak to Earthquake because of grassy terrain. On top of that, some fire types that have a very hard time breaking through bulky water types are very appreciative of Tapu Bulu being able to easily wear down any bulky water type that you could want. Even if you pair this thing with something like a Reuniclus or a really offensive Psychic type that would appreciate having a Dark type being taken down, it can run Super Power, it can run Horn Leech, it can run Swords Dance and break through wall cores, uh, especially because of its base speed, and support the rest of your team very, very well. However, with its many weaknesses and the fact that its base speed does hurt it a lot. Being base speed 75, you're actually outsped by a lot of walls in this gen. For example, Mandibuzz, Suicune, Milotic, and a bunch of other walls like that, you're pretty much outsped by, and if they run something to hit you very hard, it's going to severely weaken your Tapu Bulu, and it can be very hard to break through them. So because of that, it is something that really hurts Tapu Bulu, but because it can be worked around and it has such a good team support aspect to it, I really think that this mod is good for almost any type of playstyle. If you like hyper offense, throw a choice scarf on this thing every single week, let it just drop some wood hammers and you'll be surprised at how easy your team can break through other teams with the rest of your supporting mods because normally hyper offense deals with U-turn as well at the same time which Tapu Bulu greatly appreciates. If you like bulky offense, this thing can be very very bulky so you can EV it to take some really good hits, fire back some very powerful hits and make it easy for your other bulky offenses like Celesteela or the Mon that I'm going to mention on Thursday, it can be very easy for them to break through teams. And if for whatever reason, if you're a douchebag and you like playing stall, this can even support your stall team very well because of the fact that it gives you some extra leftovers recovery in grassy terrain and the leech seed that can really be benefited from Tapu Bulu can also really come down to making a difference in your stall play style. And right now, I think balance is probably one of the best ways that people are finding to find success in draft leagues, and as a balance, you need a wall breaker. This thing is a wall breaker, and I love that about it. So, overall, I'm going to give Tapu Bulu a very solid B, and that B is mainly its speed, its weaknesses, and the fact that it can be walled, not easily, but it can be. And if you're going up against something like a Curse Registeel or a really bulky Steel type that has recovery, like a Scizor, it's going to be harder for you to break through teams. So it can be walled, so it's not the best wall breaker, but it is still a very, very good one. And for that reason, I'm going to give it a B. Well, guys, I feel like I didn't talk too, too much about Tapu Bulu. That's mainly because I didn't want to give away what the Mon on Thursday is. And because on Thursday, it's probably going to be a much longer episode where I'm going to talk about Tapu Bulu in conjunction with this other Mon and about seven other Mons that I think would go really, really well in a draft with them. So because of that, I am going to cut this episode a little short. And on Thursday, we are going to talk about the rest of the core or team, realistically, that I think would go really, really well with Tapu Bulu. I'm sorry if you feel like I left some stuff out or if you feel like I didn't cover them on well enough, uh, but I promise you on Thursday I will make up for it. But guys, as always, make sure down in the comment section below, you let me think you let me know what you think of Tapu Bulu, you let me know what you think the next Mon is, you let me know what things you think go really well with Tapu Bulu. This is a conversation and I love hearing your guys' uh, perspectives on a bunch of these Mons. But guys, with that, I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here. Thank you all again so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.